Uh, and if we can roll the video, I'm showing you here uh, a muscle cell um, containing these long myofibril stripes uh, that you can see going vertical, which are involved in the contraction. A nucleus that is uh, close to the uh, cell surface uh, and uh, what are called myocellular fat uh, depots. They're typically present uh, in people who are overweight and insulin resistant, but they can be drawn down with exercise to provide some energy to the fat pad. Now, fat from the diet uh, or from adipose tissue is going to uh, be taken up uh, from these fat pads or from other sources uh, during exercise. Um, and as you're going to see here, uh, a drug that was developed to PPAR delta can diffuse through the membrane of the uh, fat cell and bind to the PPAR delta receptor, very similar to what we saw with PPAR gamma. Uh, now we're looking at PPAR delta networks in muscle. Uh, it triggers the same type of effect, very similar receptor, uh, the conformational change, the repressors released, the genetic activation system uh, comes in, and now the muscle energy burning genes uh, are stimulated, and the muscle delta network is stimulated uh, to activate oxidative metabolism uh, in uh, this tissue, leads to a change in balance uh, of its energy composition as this network uh, flickers on and off and as these genes uh, are going. Uh, and thus, tinkering with the molecular machinery can cause the increased burning uh, of fat and adipose tissue and convert that stored energy uh, into uh, burned energy.